All right, <clears throat> just started my compost bin. I got this bin uh, for like 35 bucks at Lowe's. I put it together myself. Um, as you can see, all four corners have this little axe that comes up and out. And on each side, I guess, this is for to aerate it, and plus you can get the compost that's on the bottom. It's pretty neat. Like I said, I just started this. I started a layer with hay. Uh, put worm castings and some compost and manure that I already had. Um, laid it with some green clippings. We need browns and greens to, for a compost. I also put banana peels, some old, old fruit that we had. Anything living or once living or byproducts of a herbivore, you can put in a composter. So uh, I'll basically, each layer I put down, I put a little water on there. It's starting to get hot days, so everything's going to just kind of cook. And I guess every, you know, every couple days I'll add stuff in there as far as uh, food waste. And about every week, I'll come and the pitchfork, turn it all up, mix it all together, and uh, promote even uh, even cooking. Um, and then I'll have uh, basically great compost for my garden. Um, things you can't compost, basically anything uh, from animal, meats, bones, uh, any kind of plants that you use, any kind of um, pesticides or any kind of sides on for that matter. Um, but yeah, anything else as far as green clippings and um, brown and green things, you know, grass clippings even from the mower. It's what I'm going to use at least. I'm going to add water and hopefully we'll get some good compost. It'll probably take a couple of months, but I thought I'd do this first video to see what we're starting from. Again. And what I've read, basically, it shouldn't smell. Um, this is a, uh, like our compost tea, an aerobic kind of a thing, not an anaerobic. So if it's smelling, that means that it's not something's not doing right. You're not getting enough oxygen, not enough air in there. So um, we'll see. We'll keep you updated on the compost. Jedi Johnny out.